morning, Tuesday, July 26th, 2022, here in Sarasota, Florida. Three big things have represented my past couple of weeks, uh, the energies of three things. Uh, old TV show that I have gone back and was called to go back and rewatch the whole series, a book that uh, an author I had heard about for a long time, but had never read any of his pieces. And I'm reading my first book from this author. And the new year for people that follow the 13 moon calendar. And I have followed the 13 moon calendar uh, beginning in 2010, but I began mid year, mid 13 moon year in 2010, at the end of 2010. And so the 2011 to 2012 year was the first year I consciously utilized 13 moon calendar as a very big tool um, in the living of my life and the conscious restructuring of my life. And the new year begins today, the 26th. So the show is Dexter, the author and book, Carlos Castaneda, and here is the new 13 moon calendar year. The red, uh, the red self-existing moon year is uh, the energy representing this entire upcoming year, 13 months. So I am gonna continue to weave together things in a way that I'm just astounded at the beauty. I'm astounded at the synchronicities. And I'm astounded of the massive personal change going on, something in my physical world right now, as the energies of all these things. Watching Dexter, I just finished season five. I'm blowing through it. It's only the second time I've rewatched, I've watched that series. Carlos Castaneda's book and the lessons of Don Juan and this entire book about the ancient Mexican spirituality resonating very deeply with me. Um, and the chapter I read yesterday was just off the charts for me personally. And in the 13 moon calendar, the 25th of July every year is what's called the day out of time. 13 months times 28 days is 364. And as we all know, there's 365 days in a year for us here on planet earth. And so that final day in the 13 moon calendar is on July 25th and it's called a day out of time. I had a very conscious day yesterday. I set some very deep intentions. And for me, I sort of begin in the 13 month. It's like month 13 is sort of my overlapping month where I really reflect upon the previous year. I, you know, for 10 years now, I have, I've been self-employed in, in, in a very unique way. Uh, it's not yet the dream way, but I am most certainly not playing. I don't have a regular job. I haven't had a regular job since I left Microsoft uh, and did not return there in 2012. So literally for 10 years, I have been in charge of my, my own work life. And for me, I do it in year periods. And I'm aided by that because of my the way that the farm season works, which is seasonal, and also the event world, which has comprised um, most of my contract work. Uh, not my dream way, but definitely uh, pretty ideal, both of, those, both of those components of my work life. And all along, I've been dreaming of needing that work and being able to support myself every single moment of every single day doing what I call my soul's work. But that's been a lot more challenging than I ever could have imagined because as a good friend once said to me, mixing money and spirituality, it definitely 
gets tricky. And I just do not have an ability to compromise what, what is pulling me. I just, I, I can't. I've never been able to live motivated or focused upon money as most people are. And it's not a judgment. I just, I can't. I can't when I do something just for the money, meaning my heart and soul isn't really in it. It is very challenging. And I often can't last more than a short period of time depending on if it's a daily thing or if it's, you know, a, a monthly gig like my event world. I've been able to do that for longer because if I was doing it full time, I, I never would have, I never would have made it because I have been working to co-create a very different model of business, a very different model of work. And it's impossible. It really is to describe it with words. It's about living it. And the magic of what is coming together for this forthcoming year. And it's about staying as much in the now as possible and not getting attached or having expectations. But one has to have a plan. Hey Amen. This is what I saw when I first took my leap of faith, when I naively believed I would be at this place in a year's time, it's taken 10, but it's here. The beginning of what I first saw. And the most amazing part is almost nobody, we're talking less than one hand, can appreciate, share in, recognize like, no one knows. Why does no one know the conglomerate or understand? Well, one, I, I don't have that many, as I've shared, close friends anymore. The inner circle is almost non-existent, very purposely. I had to start again. I had to spiral deep, deep, deep within these past 10 years. I didn't know myself to the degree that I sensed my greater self. And that's an unending journey too. I will continue to learn to know myself, but my attraction point is me, my inner. And I had to first learn who that was and second, learn how to align to her and need nothing else outside of me to keep me aligned to the highest aspects of myself, to source leading me and me just doing the best I can as Allison to make, to follow the call and to make choices for a very different reality that I saw and have seen so clearly. But as I've learned very, very, very hard lessons over the past decade, it's not an easy story to tell let alone to live. And no longer will I expose that unless I am as confident and as comfortable as I can be in believing that it's the, the means by which I'm sharing, the people with whom I'm sharing have at least a bare minimum ability and willingness to honor what's being shared. Dude, this isn't, these aren't words for me. I have, I support myself and what I've done to stay true to the words, playing a new game while having to make sure I'm grounded and taking care of myself in this game that never made sense to me and does not resonate. But that is still, we still live in this world so it's, you got to play both. And I had a lot of growing up to do, a lot of maturing to figure out how to work, to manifest and co-create a world I don't see, but not forgetting that I have to continue to take care of my physical body and the physical myself within the physical dimension. So I'm not supporting myself or making any money 
at present related to my spirituality, but everything, everything, every choice I have made since taking a six-figure leap of faith that left me in a world of dark with no one, no one there to walk through that darkness with me, but me and the consequences of a very real and honest leap of faith. Everything since making that all in choice, every choice has been evaluated at a degree that I just don't know that most people can appreciate unless they too are living that consciously. This is my life. I walk and live the talk. I'm not sharing it on the internet lightly. I had to grow into this. Seemingly, I shared haphazardly, but it was innocent. It was just from pure naivety how much I shared when I first started. I'm not sharing anything lightly, and I'm sure as shit not doing it for likes or subscribers or adulation or worshiping or any energy that is coming from somebody believing that I'm any better than them. No way. I'm living this. And I don't care if my life remains as small as it is, I will take small and real and authentic any day of the week, twice on Sunday, over superficial shit. And I've just never been a surface level person. I am a deep soul. And I came here to live at that level of connection and depth for real. And I have capabilities and desires and the soul's call, I feel, to do big things but that will never trump the authenticity. I will not compromise this greater energy. I will not compromise it, certainly not consciously, and I will do all I can unconsciously to, I will do all I can consciously to try to bring from my unconscious to the surface any remote possibility of why I may do something for the wrong reasons, for anything other than alignment, alignment to the oneness to the love that I believe we all are. I don't think we've even touched the surface of what we can do as humans and as humanity at large. And it's not because humanity is evil. It's that there have been very real forces manipulating, controlling, flat out lying to the collective about who we are, about from where we came, about our real potential and capabilities. It's clear to me. And I didn't see it, the full picture, until the past couple of years. So it's been a lot to reconcile. I was a lot, but boy, is it clear. And to see and experience what I am, oh my God. And it's okay that I'm the only one that feels it, sees it, is telling my story in this insanely beautiful way. And I know I'm supposed to figure out and allow myself to align to how source 
intends for me to share this at a more general level with others, because I know that's intended as well, but I'll continue to be patient and, and take as long as I need in order to continue to learn the lessons that allow me to feel to feel my way to it. I will not compromise this. I will not cheapen it. I will not release it until and unless I can ensure that the manner in which I'm sharing, that the, the piece is just, I, I'm just not interested anymore. I'm not interested. I've done this my whole life. I've told the same details of something with all the rest of people in my world, but telling it in a different way and no one else being able to agree to tell it that way, it's okay, but I'm not settling for that any longer. And I don't need to share it for people to, I only want to share this with an environment that is ready for us to all collectively create this new, this new reality. I don't know. I don't, I, the phone just threw me off with that call. So I'm going to end this for now. And I'll probably try to capture a second take later because so many pieces of, like I said, Dexter and this, oh my God, this book is just the chapter I read yesterday. I almost had a feeling of reading the whole chapter in a video. It, it was just so profound and applicable to exactly where I am and the beautiful intentions I set in the day I had, intentional day yesterday, and today is day one of the red self-existing moon year. It's going to be a good year.